Hey guys, RC here. We are back, episode three of our Football Manager 20 Journeyman Save, Climbing the Ladder. So we did restart, that's why this is episode three. Uh, if you're relatively new to the channel, if you're one of the uh, fans of Bonnie Rig Rose that uh, has tuned in at this point, welcome, by the way. Uh, really enjoying myself here in the early days. But uh, basically what I do is Football Manager releases once a year. They release a new uh, new uh, version of the game. Typically pre-releases in October, and then the official release is in November. And so usually from October, November through March, I do one save, which is about six months. And then the second part of the year, from March until the new release of the game, uh, I do a second series. And usually I try to do two different ones. This year, however, I felt a little cheated uh, because of the way I set the league up and I overlooked one little detail and it really glitched out my manager. And I think that's why his reputation never improved over you know, the years. So we're gonna do a second journeyman. That's the goal here. Um, now, you know, it may be I really like my time at Bonnie Rig Rose and we just decide to stick with them and build them up as a, as a club. But we'll see. That's, that's you know, I'm always open to changing things up. But anyway, we are here October 10th. We have uh, St. Patrick's Athletic today in a cup match. But things are going well. Yes, they are. So uh, after last episode that saw us draw with Gallifaradine and beat Hibbs Reserves, remember uh, Sandy MacArthur scored four goals in that match, just to refresh your memory? Six nothing over Montrose, you, the club that the fans laughed at me and didn't want to hire me. Uh, Sandy MacArthur had a hat trick, seven in two games. Thank you very much. Uh, Mark McKenzie, Blair Beatty, and Joshua McGregor also scored. A 2-0 clean sheet over Edinburgh, Brindle, and MacArthur with another goal. And 3-0 over Cove Rangers. MacArthur finds the net for the fourth consecutive game, Brindle and Ray Devaney. Now, Ray Devaney, uh, who is probably my favorite player in the early days, MacArthur's making a run here. He's only 19. Um, Ray Devaney got thrown out of a game red card and it was two yellows and uh, he got sent off and for whatever reason i was not able to do the um at the you know when you're in the off season right before the season and you you name your captains and you're able to set that uh code of conduct I don't know why that resets every year. I mean, if you you know you should be able to set a consistent code of conduct because what happens is I get to a point and then I go on vacation for four, five, ten days when there's a gap between games. Then I come back and I find out that oh well they didn't do the code of conduct because you weren't here and uh, you know your director of football signed four players because you weren't here uh, to tell him not to and the board. Um, gives you a new contract while you're not here and you accepted it even though you weren't here. I really think that kind of stuff in the game should force you to come back. It should stop a vacation or it should delay those emails until you get back. Just like player sales and confirming player signings and things of that nature, I don't know why they don't. Anyway, good run of form. We've only got that one loss to Sterling Albion early on. Uh, remember, we did switch over to uh, the new tactic here against Peterhead uh, off camera. And so the new tactics are working out excellent, uh, which we talked about last episode. So excellent run of form here. In the competition, we are now on 19 points after eight matches. Six wins, one draw, one defeat, a plus 14 goal differential, which is huge. Um, I, I'm in my solo save with leads after the entire Premier League season. I was plus nine in goal differential um, as of last night. Now that was before I was reading the information that I talked about last episode and switched into this home and away tactic. So I'm hoping that this is a precursor of what I can expect there. Uh, the board is very happy. 
Uh, but they do want promotion by winning the league. So we are expected to win. Uh, we're into the Earn Brew Cup. And, you know, when New Saints popped on there, it reminded they're in Wales because that's where we were with Bala Town in the last club, last uh, series. So I don't know what Earn Brew stands for, but I'm guessing it has to do with, you know, we're in we're in Scotland and, you know, the Welsh teams are in it. So it must be a, an a, a, a con accumulation or a, I don't know what the word is. It starts with a C, but the, an accumulation of clubs. Uh, anyway, who cares? Get to the games, RC. Quit rambling. Holy crap. All right. So we're playing St. Patrick's Athletic. Uh, we are at home. We are underdogs. So we are going to go with the big away because they are a much bigger team than us. Haven't used this tactic yet since the switch over. And I do want to, let's do a little comparison here. So Jordan Johnson has been our starter. He's 20, he's 19. He is Scottish. Oh, McGinney is 19. Johnson is 16. Neither one is far from first team level. Three appearances, three goals allowed. 11 appearances, 10 goals allowed. Five clean sheets to zero. And a 6.89 to a 6.83. Shot stopping is relatively close. Aerial work, physical. You know, I think Johnson is going to be the better keeper, but McGinty. Uh, remember when in the off season we signed him and then we got Johnson after the fact. You can see Johnson's valued at twenty nine thousand. McGinney's only valued at nine hundred and fifty dollars. He's he he's a new player through our youth system and he's been really good. Um, but McGinney has been upset and throwing a hissy fit. So told him we would start starting him in cup games he wasn't happy with that but it is what it is uh ray devaney i mentioned he threw a fit because i find him half a week salary uh for getting sent off and because it wouldn't let me do the code of conduct this year uh he's all pissed off and i said you know i'm just trying to be applying even you know even penalties well that doesn't give any accordance to individual you know situations and i said no you're right it doesn't so he's pissed off all right we're in the red harry carpenter picks up a yellow gibson's gonna take the throw he plays it short mckenzie he takes a ping and oh i saw the net wiggle but it did not cross the line unlucky deep throw goes over the defender into the box no you got to do better than that oh my goodness that was not a good play by, I think, Sainsbury out on that right side. All right, we're frustrated. Okay, yeah, I need to go in and tweak a few settings here. Need to tweak a few settings. Uh, I turn over a lot of stuff over to my staff, but there are some things that I like to do. But sometimes uh, when I take, go to a new team and they reset, uh, I, I, I don't get them all right. Ooh, that goes wide. I'm surprised he wasn't off sides. He might have been. He might have been. All right, boys. Let's, uh, uh he beat me to it with the praise. I was going to demand more. All right, this is a corner. I'm always leery of these. McKenzie heads it out. Oh, he takes a ping off the woodwork. And Brown, luckily, is off sides because that was an empty net goal. Oof. Yeah, he was definitely off sides, but wow. All right, we got a set piece from straight away. A good save by McGinty. All right, good job. I want to try to beat him to the... And I think there was a push there. It was against them, so we got a little lucky. I'm going to demand more. I'm 
All right, headed wide. That's good. Oh, that was oof. Carpenter, man. That should have probably been in the net. We have really controlled the first half here. Uh, I do appreciate your efforts. We are going to tell you guys to watch your step. And I need to see some passion from you here in the early going. Wait a minute. Did he get a header on the ball? I thought it went over his head. I'm going to have to see the replay here. Oh, just a nice little flick on header. I thought the ball curved into the net, and that freaked the hell out of me. All right, we're gonna have to go up to uh, we're gonna have to go up to positive and push forward here. All right, um, MacArthur's struggling today, but I know he's got goals in him. Murphy's anxious, so let's bring on. Uh, Bring on McFarlane and Sainsbury for Jody Ransom. Let's see if we can get some runs on that left side happening here. All right, now we're going to go up to attacking. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to switch over to... that we'll just go into our attacking home uh, situation uh, Blair Beatty and then McKenzie and Alex Diglish we're on an eight match unbeaten run which equals the club record so it looks like that's going to come to an end. Oh. Offsides, possibly. Push forward. We're already attacking. Come on, boys. Steal it. Oh, there's a nice defensive play. Lays it off. We've got a couple of minutes. Oh, and that was a horrible ball. And our center back gets beaten. Mays one-on-one. -on -one. Good save. See, now I want to tell the keeper, see, I started you in a cup match and we lost. We had all these clean sheets until, until you stuck your face in the goal. Uh, nice block. Unfortunately, it goes out of bounds. Come on, fellas. We've got four minutes of stoppage time. We've got to make another play on the ball. Oh, that's a good ball there. Oh, good save by McGinty. All right, he shows some sure hands. And we're not going to do anything, and we end up on the short end of the score. We actually had a better game, but no chances created. That was the problem. That was the problem today. Um, I am going to be assertive and, yeah, we'll tell them that, you know, that they played pretty well. Because they are, St. Patrick's is a much higher level club than us. So we should have probably gotten blown out today. But disappointing in here, you know. We get $13,000. McFarlane has played 10 matches without finding the net. So that goes back to last season. All in all, not bad. All right, we're going to be playing Strats, Strats, Stratsby Park, Stratsby Thistle. Um, anyway, that's who we play next. So we'll see you guys for that. Strathspey Thistle. Yes, tongue twister. Thanks. Bye. See you in a minute. <laughs> All right, we're back for the William Hill Scottish Cup. If any of you guys know who William Hill actually is, let me know in the comments. Don't know why the Scottish Cup is named after him. 
It's not William Wallace Scottish Cup. That's what I would have expected. But William Hill must be a very impressive guy. Uh, so let me know who he is if you know. All right, we are heavily, heavily favored in this one. So we are going to go with our home. Yes, that is... That's our home tactic. That's what I want. All right. Johnson's back in goal. McGregor, Avenel, Gibson, Sainsbury. Same crew. Same crew. Nothing special. Would like to see one of these big 6 nil scores. A 4-2-3-1. Encourage the team. And you know what? I forgot to go change those settings. Because we're, you know, I haven't stopped playing. Uh, McKenzie, a little bit of a heavy touch. Crossed in. Ray Devaney, he lays it off. Sainsbury, there's a cross. A header off the woodwork. And we get the corner out of it. Ah, Come on, boys. Get to it, McKenzie. Ah. Uh, he plays it behind, and the guy taking the corner was coming back to try to get on sides. Nice header down. Instead of just lumping it as hard as he could, nice to see that. Uh, Ray Devaney, he's into the box, and he is kicked from behind. Could be a card there. Who's going to line up to take this? It is. It's going to be Sainsbury. Uh did he hit the woodwork? I don't think the keeper saved that. Show a replay because that was weird. I guess the keeper did get a hand on it, but he follows it up, puts it in the net, and we're up 1-0. We'll take that. He gets <laughs> he had a missed penalty and then a goal. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Putting the pressure on him. Putting the pressure on him. Making him nervous. All right, Beatty. No, can't do that. That's just poor. Oh, Murphy poaches the ball. Lay it off. Oh, MacArthur. And he scores. Sandy MacArthur, his 12th of the season. Oh, my goodness. Look how early we are in the season. He's already on 12 goals. Could we have a 30-goal score this year? I have not had anybody over, I don't think I've had anybody over 20 in this in this version in FM20. Ah, that could be great. Oh, good little layoff pass. Flick on header. Good. Ray Devaney outside. Into the box. There's a cross. Murphy's there. MacArthur! Oh, and it looks like it hit the woodwork and the keeper caught it on the bounce. We're going to give him some praise. All right, they're fired up. Devaney into the box. Headed clear. Brindle. Oh, MacArthur could not quite get there. And there it is across. That's going to be his 13th. He's got a brace. What a pass by uh, by Ray Devaney to get it inside. MacArthur, great finish. Straight back to a kickoff highlight. That's always concerning. McKenzie. Lays it deep in. Oh, there it is. Oh. Goes over the goal. We're up 3-0, 20 minutes in. And we are looking to uh, show some passion. See if we can fire him up a little bit. No, complacent. Hmm. Concentrate. I'm not sure what the thing to get him off complacency is. Ray Devaney, he takes a shot from range. That was a pretty poor finish. All right, the concentrate overwhelms him. Oh, great save by Johnston. 
and he preserves the clean sheet here in the first half with that save. 17-3. to uh, We're going to keep going. I am going to go ahead and, let's see, we appreciate your efforts. Need you to watch your step. All right, we're going to come back to balanced. Just dial it back a little bit. Kind of take the foot off the gas a little bit. We're not going to go cautious or defensive. All right, let's go ahead, uh, BD. You know what? Let's put Avenel up there, and then we'll bring uh, Kareem Daniel. He's back from international duty, so we'll get him some match time here. Um, Jack Jones, let's give you a few minutes of game time. 30 minutes really need to see get get some of these other strikers off the off the mark here all right we're gonna praise them all right we're gonna come back for an early sub and let's bring Blair Brimner in on the right side for Ray Devaney all right we've got a throw in McKenzie eventually gets to it. Poor ball. All right, they find Brendel outside. He lays it off to McKenzie. MacArthur on the run. Oh, that was unlucky. He almost had a hat trick. Bremner. He laces one into the box. Back post, and there's Daniel. Kareem Daniel, his first goal of the season. He was our only player off on international duty. So it's nice to get him back. Very good. And we'll take an easy 4 nothing win. Let's take a look at Daniel real quick. Trinidad and Tobago. Okay, I was just trying to... I thought it was Trinidad, but I was like... Meh. 88 caps, 9 goals for the 25-year-old. Very good. 21 shots, 11 on target. Five chances created. Got to like that. We appreciate the efforts. So we win one, lose one in the Cups today. We do have the third round draw tomorrow. So let's hang around for that. A gold glut. We get $9,000. MacArthur with another brace. Let's take a look at him. He has, uh, you know, he's only got a 10 finishing, 19 years old, and 8 pace. He's not that great. I don't know what the deal is. He is not the guy I would have expected, but he's got 7 goals in 6 matches in the league. Go figure. Good work rate, good decision making, I guess. But nothing in there tells me he would be the man. Uh... <laughs> Which, which probably says a lot about how little I know about football manager. But, oh well. Yeah, I want to get up to, so we should have the draw today. All right. Ooh, I get my coaching license. Sweet. So I've moved from a B to a, a C to a B. And let's see if they will let me take another coaching course. Oh, man. So they have shut me down. Bonnie Rig Rose, what's the deal, man? You're going to hold me back? You don't want me to be all I can be? I'm very disappointed. That may be the thing it, it takes to ensure that this is a journeyman and not a single team save. Just saying. All right, third round draw today. 36 teams left. Let's do the automatic draw. All right. Sterling Albion, one of the teams that beat us this year. Air United, job I went after. Oh, wow. Klocknacudden. That's who we got, Klocknacudden. I think I pronounced that at least close to right. Somebody let me know in the comments. Klocknacudden. I think it helped that I just, I've been playing The Witcher a lot lately. And, uh... You know, in The Witcher, you're you know when you go to uh, Arn Skalig, you 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 get a lot of the accent stuff. So uh, yeah, let's just draw all the teams now. Klocknacudden, that's that's interesting. I like that. 
Okay, we'll be playing at Grant Street Park. I think there was a club in uh, my hometown that was called Grant Street. Uh, Grant Street Station probably had about a 3,000 capacity <laughs> back in the day. All right, well, so we've got two losses. St. Patrick's, that's a cup. I'm not, you know, that's, yeah. But we are in the Scottish Cup. Where do we want to come back? Um, Peterhead is currently ninth. Gala is third. I tell you what, let's come back for Clock Nakuden and Gala, because Gala is the team that we drew with, so we had some problems with them. You know, hmm. no, let's come back for Peterhead. Haven't seen them on camera yet, right? Right, that's correct. So let's do them and Clock Nakuden, and then we can come back maybe for Montrose and Edinburgh. Because I'd like to beat Montrose on camera. Maybe I shouldn't come back for that then. Because um, we beat them 6-0 last time. And remember, I have, you know, my feelings are a little hurt, Montrose. Because I applied for your job because I liked the band Montrose. Which was Sammy Hagar's first band, for those of you unaware. Go check them out. And uh, the fans laughed off my interest. So, a little disappointed. So, yeah, let's come back for Peter's Head, Clock Nakuden. And then we'll turn around real quick and do Montrose and Edinburgh. Or maybe we'll do Montrose and skip over and do Cove. That might be a good one. Do I play Cove? Uh, no, we're not going to do that because we'll finish off the season with Cove. Always good to look ahead a little bit. How are we faring? Well, we are on 19 points after eight matches. Three points up on Cove and four points up on Gala. So we are looking really good in the league. We're into the third round, which was minimum expectations. So we'll have a positive result there for our reputation. Just out of curiosity, looks like I may have gotten a little bit of a tick for getting that new license. So, and I'm really excited if we can win the league, what that does to the reputation. Because remember, we played, let's see, it was 20... 35 we're 30 years in so i played 30 seasons and only game and i was only one and a quarter star reputation so something to think about all right guys well hit that like button for me subscribe and we will see you in the next episode have a good one bye